Then there's Judas. Uh, he has Book Belial, which I believe is another way of turning him into a demon. He has uh, high health, but uh, no hit points for the most part. So if he's another one that's similar to Samson, where if he does get hit a little bit, uh, he tends to die very easily. So if you get hit a lot, probably not a good one to go with either. Uh, Cain was one that I used quite a bit before getting the D6 for Isaac. Uh, he has an item called the Luck foot. Uh, basically it's just like a lucky uh, rabbit's foot. Uh, whenever you pick up any kind of pills, sometimes you'll find pills in the level. Uh, those will always be good pills instead of possibly bad, possibly good. Uh, he also, I believe that also gives you some other benefits, but I'm not familiar with them. Uh, but he has pretty balanced uh, attack speed, because he has three speed, three attack. And, uh, he does have a little bit less health than Isaac, however. Uh, Magdalene would probably be good for a new player. Uh, you do start out with a lot of health, um, and her special ability is to regain hearts. So if you tend to get hit a lot, that might be a good option for you. Usually I go with Isaac for the thing I mentioned earlier, um, because again, you could switch around the items that you have on there. Uh, these guys generally don't really move very far. They just randomly shoot at you. Now sometimes these little uh, black rocks here can give you special items. One thing I'll try to do is if it's close to an area of here, sometimes you can also hit a door with it, but And then there's Gish, which is definitely worth getting. Basically what he does is he will slow people down when he hits them. That'll help you a lot with like jumpers and any other things that move really quickly towards you. Gish does tend to slow down just about everything, including uh, any kind of spawning or other thing. Uh, in this case, dog food just gives you extra health, because apparently that's dessert form. This one is the one that poisons them if they run into you, so we'll go ahead and speed them range. Especially with this boss, a lot of times he will give you uh, the meat cube, which is basically, um, if you get enough meat cubes, they tend to, well, they allow you to build a super meat boy, which is what the same game maker of this made of another game, which, and here he's pretty strong, because he allows you to give, like, another shot similar to Gish, but he also protects you from 
when things are trying to hit you. Also, as you've seen with the strategy on the, usually when he's on the horse thing, it's usually good to be above or below him. Otherwise, he'll keep charging you. Uh, when he goes into the flying head, it's usually better to be left or right, so he's further from shooting you. So, as I mentioned with the D6, a lot of times that, well, I mean, that usually helps you switch him. So in this case, we're able to get a flying ability, which will help us quite a bit. That's just cash, so, but unfortunately there's no not enough levels that we can actually go to in order to switch it, so we'll just have to take it. Uh, if anything, maybe there might be something at the shop here. There's a bag which allows us to get extra trinkets, so we may just get that. Grab an extra key just to be on the safe side. go down to the next level. usually when they're a different color like that, that also means they will drop something whenever they die. If he ever dies. Yeah, I can't hit him for the life of me. Find the boss here. This is one of the hybrid bosses from the expansion. Basically, um, Unfortunately, we don't want to keep that, but I don't think we have an option. Especially since it was a one of the newer ones. Sometimes, like they don't allow you to get anything different on it. Ah, 
However, we can convert that one. We'll need to beat a few more levels before we can come back and convert it. Actually, let's go ahead and look for secret passages. real quickly here and then um, go switch out the that one power up would she that'd be because the one that was previously on her is basically like a item that she could use as a bomb which would end up replacing our D6, so I usually don't get too many things that are replaced to D6 itself. Unless at least until we're much closer to the end. Because for now we can use it for much more to hopefully get rid of or mitigate any other bad drops we get. Still have to find our treasure room. the D20 is usually pretty tempting, uh, what that allows us to do is switch, here I'll use this as a demonstration, is that we can switch anything else on the board that's not a special item, like for that example that coin, unfortunately I got turned into a bomb, but... Well, this should make things a little bit quicker. So that power up we gave us just lets us throw a 
bombs all over the place, which... As long as you're good at it, it'll be a fairly quick match. As you can see, tossing tons of bombs at this point would probably be pretty beneficial. We may as well just gain health at this point, because I think we pretty much have enough to be the main leader of the game at this point. Extra glasses that'll tell us where any holes in the wall are. So, like any secret rooms. It's not anything super beneficial because we could just bomb everything, but.
so yeah, at this point we're mostly just looking for the boss at this point. It's one of the two paths we have not taken at this point. I think they're going to make it as difficult as possible to find. very last path we have. I just use the tarot card which gives you like a random special ability. I think it's just bound and determined to give me that. We'll keep our cube though. we had the one up, but she may be a little more difficult to kill with the bomb since she moves much faster on that particular red one. She shouldn't be quite as bad with a regular.
this point, we pretty much went down to hell. And that's what we're fighting now. that I So we'll run back up here and try to do it again. Well, actually that would be a way to get there. Yeah, let's just do that. That's gonna speed this up quite a bit. The particular upgrades that we have, he shouldn't be too too bad. Hopefully everything is spawned, we should be able to just explode. Yeah. 
pretty much at this point we can either choose to go to heaven or hell pretty much. Um, in fact, we'll just go to heaven on this one. The good thing about these particular slot machines is the fact that they usually will give you the blue hearts, which if we get some of those, we should be able to take on the last boss pretty easily. So right now we're at five hearts, which isn't too ideal. Actually, in fact, I think the Emperor will actually allow us to go straight to the boss if we use it. So we'll probably find out very shortly. Yep, so at this point we're going to fight Isaac. Normally it can be quite a bit more difficult with the regular shot, but since I wasn't shooting with regular bullets, normally if you shoot with regular bullets he will keep shooting back at you, but I don't think it triggers with uh, the bombs themselves, so. So that was an entire playthrough, because at this point this is one of many, many different endings that they have. And it goes through like a almost Super Mario Brothers uh, sort of ending where it shows you all the different types of bad guys and different names of each of them. And so these are all the different people that you may have seen me encounter or not seen me encounter. Each of them have little different strategies and such um, that make them quite unique to what you'll be facing. These are a lot of your different bosses. And and that's why I said the D6 is usually my preferable way of going because most of the time you can usually turn some bad items into pretty good ones. And uh, usually if you get a couple good ones, it's very easy to win the game back forward. However, um, if you keep getting stuck with really bad upgrades, it does make things quite a bit more difficult. So, I hope you like what. Um, hope you enjoyed watching, and thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos, just come back to the channel later, and um, I should have more posted in the near future here. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.